Hallelujah. Lift your hands and just worship God. Avoid distractions around you and just bless this glorious God. Lift your hands and just wave it to this beautiful, awesome, faithful, gracious, glorious Father. The one who is, the one who was, the one who is to come. I want us to put on our thinking cap today and just think of the goodness of God. It's December, the 12th month in the year, the last month of the year 2023. Oh, beautiful God, we worship you. Father, we worship you. Father, we worship you. We give you, we give you praise. We give you thanks. We appreciate you, oh God. Lift up your hands and let God see that you're worshiping. Let God see that you're grateful. Many people who are better than us, our age, older, younger, babies, they are nowhere to be found. It's not that we're mocking them, we're just grateful for the gift of life, grateful for the gift of living, not just existing, living. Father, we bless you. Crazy. 
Is somebody here to worship?
song is Thanksgiving. So you hear us sing in different languages because it's Thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Are you ready to dance? Our God is faithful. You are that suffering to the Lord. Amen. I come before you today hey. And there is only one thing I want to say this time Thank you Lord I just wanna Thank you Lord hey. For all you've given to me For all the things that you've done in my life I say Thank you Lord I just wanna With a song of praise, with a song of praise, with an upright down, I bless your name. We say thank you, Lord. I just wanna thank you, Lord. Yeah, I just wanna thank you, Lord. Yeah, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Watch your dance. Praise, 
is through our God. Every word of worship with one another. Hey, every praise, every praise is to our God. I'll take it again. Every praise to our God. Every word of worship with one another. Aha. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Oh, every praise. Lift your hands, every praise. Lift your hands to him. I want us to lift those hands that God has blessed and say happy praise to you, O oh God. Every word of worship, in one accord, we praise your name. Oh, happy praise. Every word of worship. We're lifting up to you. Every praise. Every praise. Every praise. Every praise. To our God. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Oh, 
lift you up, we lift you up, we lift you up on our praise as we lift you up. We lift you up, 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 we lift you up
We declare this service open in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. A round of applause to the King of Glory. Amen. December. That which you are believing God for, that is yet to come. God will crown this year with it for you. Amen. If you are that person, let your amen be louder than every amen. other. Amen. God bless you. Please be seated. We just want to bless his name. We just want to praise him. And we welcome you all to join us and dance to this God. Just give him your dance offering. As we sing Supernatural Baba, he's incredible. He's a reliable God. With him, all things are possible. Amen. Amen. All right. Oh, my Lord, now you be the original. 
God bless you. Thank you, choir. God bless you. So quickly, I'm going to read Psalm 100. It says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his, before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. Is the Lord good? And, the, and his, his mercy is everlasting. And his truth endureth to all generations. Amen. Brethren, I've just come this morning to encourage us to praise God. I don't know how year 2023 has been for you. I don't know how easy it's been for you. I don't know how challenging it's been for you, but in it all, all I know is that God has been faithful. Because the Bible says that he will never leave us, 
nor forsake us. Even when we pass through difficult times, part of it might have been difficult. The Bible says when we pass through the waters, they will not overflow us. When we pass through fire, they will not kindle us because God will always be with us. And God says, fear not. No matter how it's turning out, I'm with you. So in it all, whatever your, exper what, whatever your experience might have been, I just want you to know that God is still God. In the good times, in the bad times, God is still God. In the good times, in the excellent times, in the challenging times, God is still God. And if he's still God, he is faithful. He's true to his word. He never fails. He never disappoints. And he has said, all things are working together for your good. All things are working together for my good. We may not understand it sometimes. We may not even appreciate it sometimes. But today is just to encourage us that all things are working together for your good. And I know that God has been faithful. He has kept us. He has, he, he has, he has lifted us up. He has blessed us in many ways. I pray that our blessings will be permanent in Jesus' name. That place in, uh, that, the Psalm 100 that we have read tells us about the faithfulness of God is everlasting mercies and encourages us to bless God. It's the last month of the year. For us to be here today, I want to encourage us to praise God. It's a Thanksgiving service. Don't just let it be like any other Thanksgiving service today. But you want to, you want to make it special between you and God. You want to see, we want God to know that today is a special one. So please offer him your best today. I pray that God will accept us and accept all we have brought before him in Jesus' name. We need to thank God for his great love towards us. The Bible says it is by his message that we are not consumed. We need to thank God for his abiding presence throughout the year. We want to thank God for January till date. We want to thank God even for assurance of entering 2024, even with his presence and with his blessings and all to the glory of, him, of his name. Why do we need to thank God? We need to thank God for life, for health, for provision, for, 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 for protection, for guidance, for, for his mercies, for his loving kindness, for his goodness, for fighting our battles for us. Brethren, there are so many battles we have fought. You know, they, that a lot known to us, but many more are not even known to us. But God has been fighting them for us, and he has been giving us victory. He's been, giving, he's, he's been seeing us through. The Bible says in First Chronicles 16.34, it's First Chronicles 16.34, it says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord for his good, and his mercies endureth forever. First Chronicles 16.34. Psalm 107 verse 8 also says, Oh, that men will praise the Lord for his goodness, and all his wonderful works to the children of men. Turn to your neighbor and encourage that person. Oh, that men will praise the Lord. Tell them, tell them. Oh, that men, oh, that you will praise the Lord. For his goodness and for his wonderful works. To us children of men, to the children of men. For his goodness and for his wonderful works. To the children of men, to the children of men, he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of fire on asunder. He has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of fire on asunder. He has fought our battles, he has broken every chain, every gate. He has put them to naught. For we need to appreciate him for guiding us, for protecting us, for not allowing us to be put to shame, for deliverance. In Psalm 34, verses 3 to 5. Please help me so I can be fast. Psalm 34, 3, 3 to 5. I think I'm faster than them. Psalm 34, 3 to 5. It says, Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked upon him and were lightened and their faces were, were not ashamed. When we praise God, our bodies are lifted. We feel lighter. Don't you feel lighter when you praise God? <laughs> praise God. In verse, verses 19 to 20, same chapter. Verse 19. Verse 19. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered them from all, out of them all. He keepeth all his bones. Not one of them is broken. That is the faithfulness of God. We need to appreciate God today. And when we praise God, there are things he does in our lives. I'm just preparing our hearts this morning to, not to waste this opportunity, this last Thanksgiving uh, the, uh, of the last month of the year. You know, preparing our hearts. When we praise God, he brings out the presence of God. In Psalm 22 verse 3, it says, God inhabits the praises of his people. So I want to encourage you today to praise God like never before, like you've not done since the beginning 
beginning of the year. Praise him to attract his, breath, his presence. And when his, breath, his presence comes down, what happens? There is blessings. Because the Bible says in his presence there is fullness of joy. There is fullness of joy. The Bible says in Psalm 16 verse 11, it says it will show us the path of life. In his presence there is fullness of joy. And at his right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Psalm 16 verse 11. So when we praise God, it brings up the presence. It brings the presence of God and therefore brings blessings. Hallelujah. And then it, it also, when we praise God, it magnifies God above our challenges. It magnifies God. It, it, it brings God bigger. It makes God bigger and it makes our challenges small to us. And then we are at peace and our hearts are made lighter. The Bible says in Psalm 69 verse 13, it says, the psalmist said, I will praise God with a song. I will magnify him with thanksgiving. So today, even if you're not still feeling it yet, make sure you praise God. Make sure you sing a new song to God. Magnify him with thanksgiving so that your, bless, your, your challenges will become minimal in the mighty name of Jesus. Also, when we praise God, it is a weapon of warfare. Praise the Lord. There's a popular song that we all sing. That This is my weapon, isn't it? It is a weapon of warfare. Why? Because when we praise God, he comes down and not only does he bless us, it also, he also fights our battles for us. We all know this, the story of the wall of Jericho. How did the wall come crumbling down? How? What did they do? They just praised God. They just shouted, you know, and the walls came down. We know the story of Paul and Silas. They were in shackles in the inner cell. They were kept in the innermost part of the cell. The Bible says they prayed. They sang. What happened? There was an earthquake. The foundation of the prison was shaken. All the doors were opened. And they were loosened. They were free. They were free men. Praise the Lord. So today, praise God. So that any little area that is still remaining, that little area that you still feel God has not touched in 2023, as we praise God today, they will be touched in Jesus' name. They will become testimonies in Jesus' name. It's the book of Psalm that I love so much is Psalm 103, which really so summarizes all the blessings of God. It doesn't even summarize it. It just summarizes a bit because God is bigger than this. God is bigger than this, of the blessings of God. Psalms 103, I'm going to quickly run through. Verse 3 says, verse 1 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Tell your soul, bless the Lord. My soul, bless the Lord. So even if you don't feel like it, my soul, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy Bless the Lord, all my, all my soul. And verse 2 says, forget not all his benefits. What are his benefits? We've mentioned some of them. Verse 3 talks about forgiveness of sins. You are here because you have been forgiven. You have been redeemed. You have been reconciled to God by the price that Jesus paid on, on the cross of Calvary. And I pray that this price will not be in vain in our lives in Jesus' name. Verse 4 talks about redemption and salvation. The loving kindness and the tender mercies of God. Verse 5 talks about provision of good things. Strength. The Bible says we'll have the strength like that of a young eagle. Praise the Lord. Verse 6 talks about justice. When we are mistreated, God is our defender. You know, he, he, he brings us justice. He's our great defender. He's our righteous judge. Verse 7 talks about him teaching us his, his ways. The Bible says that he, taught, he showed Moses, his, he taught him his laws, and but gave the Israelites was the, his acts, show them his acts. So the Israelites were only interested in the miracles. But I know that you and I were not there. Just, we're not like that. We're not here just because of the miracles we want. We're not here just because of the testimonies we want. We are here because we love God. Am I right? Am I sure I'm right? Our priority should be to love God first. And then the others will be added unto us. So we, we are like Moses. So we want to appreciate him because daily, day after day, he's teaching us his ways. He's teaching us his laws so that we become more like him day by day. Our lives are being transformed to radiate the glory of God. Our lives are being transformed so that we are living epistles of the goodness of God to, for others to see. So that the lives of others can be drawn unto Christ. Why not praise God for your life? Father, I thank you for my life. But I thank you for my life. Verse 7, verse 8 talk, still talks about the mercy and grace of God. In verse 9 to 10, it, talks, it says that God is slow to anger. He will not deal with us according to our, our, our iniquities, our inadequacies. You, are, you know, as human beings, if somebody does something to you, if you are not born again, I want to believe you will not behave like that. You will say, because you have done this to me, I will do my own back. Abby, do people do that? 
And I want to believe that we don't do that too. Because we are children of God. We are being transformed into the image of God. But the Bible is telling us now that God does not behave that way. It does not give us the punishment we deserve because we have sinned. If God were to punish you and I for what we have done, we won't be where we are today. Praise God. So we want to appreciate him for his mercy. He's slow to anger. He does not deal with us even according to our inadequacies. He loves us greatly. Verse 11 to 12 talks about him separating us from our sins. We have talked about that. In 13 to 16, he says he's kind to those who worship him as a parent is to their children. He knows we are made from dust. Verse 17 to 18 says that he's kind to those who worship him and keeps his promises even to their descendants. As long as they remain faithful and they remain in obedience to him. I pray that generations after generations after us, they will enjoy the goodness of God because of our relationship with God, because of our, because of our own obedience to God, because of the lives of praise that we live with in, in our own present time in the mighty name of Jesus. And verses 19 to, tw- 19 to 22 talks about angels. It says all angels and all of God's creations must worship him. Praise him because he deserves it. We must worship God, thank him, appreciate him for who he is in himself and for who he is in our lives. Have you seen the hand of God move in your life? Have you had testimonies for his move in our lives, for having a relationship with us, for counting us worthy to be his children, for counting us worthy to be partakers of his glory? You want to say, Father, I thank you. Lift up your hands and worship him. You also want to worship him for year 2024, for the assurance that even as this year is going to an end, the Lord will crown year 2023 with goodness for you. The Bible says in Psalm 65, 11, we're going to read that, please. Psalm 65, verse 11. Psalm 65, verse 11. He says, Thou crownest the year with goodness, and thy paths drop fatness. My prayer is that in this last month, the Lord will crown our year with his goodness in the name of Jesus, and he will drop fatness to our path in the mighty name of Jesus. Every area that still seems dry, the hand of God will rest upon it as we praise him today, as we worship him today, and he will drop fatness. He will bring health. He will bring prosperity. He will bring joy. He will bring increase to you and I in the mighty name of Jesus. We want to say, Father, you want, we want to appreciate God for the assurance we have that our tomorrow will be all right. Our 2024 will be beautiful. Our years, and even many more years to come, will be glorious. We will not sorrow. We will not lack. We will not depart from his love in the mighty name of Jesus because he will continually keep us so paraventure you are here today, you don't know God. This is another opportunity for you. While our heads are bowed, if you are not here, if you don't have a relationship with God, if you have not, had, uh, you have not given your life to Christ, this is an opportunity for you, for you to partake in the fullness of the blessings of God. You need to have a relationship with him. Why not make this your own opportunity before the year runs to an end? And say, Father, I want to accept you as my Lord and Savior. If there's anyone like that in our midst today, you, will, you are not yet in a relationship with God and you want to have one with him. Can I ask you to just wave wherever you are seated? If there's anyone like that. I'll give a 30 seconds for us to do that. If there's anyone who does not have a relationship with God the Father, I want to say, I, I want a relationship with you today. Can I ask you to wave your hands wherever you are? So I believe we are all children of God. Praise the Lord. In the absence of none, I want to ask us to rise. Can I ask us to rise to our feet, please? You want to begin to worship God. The time for praising and dancing is still going to come. Make sure you dance very well. Make sure you give God the best from the depth of your heart. But right now, we want us to go to a brief period of worship and you just want to think of all the Lord has done for you. A song says, when I think of the goodness of the Lord and all he has done for me, my very soul will shout hallelujah. Praise God for saving me. You want to lift up your hands and just worship God with this song. I love you Lord for your mercies never fail me all my days have been held in your hands from the moment that I wake up And until I lay my head, I will sing of the goodness of God. Think about it. I love your voice. You have led me through the fire in the toughest times, in darkest nights. You were there, close like no other. You never left me. I've known you as my father. And I've known you as my friend And I, I have lived in the goodness of God All my life All my life Lift up 
your hands you and just worship God faithful. from the depth of your heart. Tell God He's been faithful. Let Him know how much you appreciate Him.
and do to the Almighty God that has kept you from January up to date. Oh, my God. 
so It's blood has got back my sins I believe To your belly My shame My shame is taken away On my face like this come on are you there can i see you do a demonstration like this so while this song is going on among my one you will raise it your pressure you lift it to the lord hallelujah are we ready yes. are we ready yeah ask your neighbor are you ready hey I'm Oh, 
give to you my praise. I go give to you, Lord. Ooh. Hey, I know get money. You know what's money, Lord. Waiting, I go give to you, Jesus. Waiting, I go give to you. Oh, waiting, I go give to you. We are giving God thanks. Hey, you are before the Almighty God. So express yourself before your Father, the King of Glory. Possible. I'm aware, aware, aware. 
baba ba ni she mi o se bi olorun oba wa ni ko le so people did not wish you to see today hey baba ba ni she wa ni ko sa ye lo o wa ye ku mi lo o pa do mo ko pa de iya hey wa ni ko sa ye lo hey o ye ku mi lo o mo I'm a piece of paper, hold it tight. Amen. Hallelujah. You want to show God that you will dance into 2024? Yeah. I, I don't know about you, but by the time you get to December 31st, nobody will tell you to dance. Oh, you, you, you. I come not in the order of men. Yay. I come as a prophet. By the time you get to December 34th, nobody will Woo. force you to dance. Amen. You want to show heaven yeah, yeah. how you will dance yeah. sir, into 2024. Yeah. If you don't believe this, sir, you won't believe anything. Yeah. Hey. Come on. Where are the people? Yeah, yeah. Hey. Hey. Rekeketaya. Oh. Yeah, come on. Yeah. I am dancing into 2024. Amen. I don't know about you. Ah, no be say I dey praise. Na God I dey praise. Oh, no be say I dey praise. Na God I dey praise. Oh.
your neighbor, get your neighbor, get your neighbor to demonstrate that I am a God who is a miracle worker, battle fighter, great defense, the God that answers prayer, the chain breaker. And I want you to go before the Lord with a heart of appreciation. With a heart of, if you want to kneel, you can kneel. Whatever language you want to choose, you want to pick, just make sure you are appreciating God. Whatever language you want to, that is convenient for you. That is convenient for you. When you look at January, we can only pray that we will see December from January. But it is God that can make it, that can bring it to pass. Oh, he has been faithful. He has been faithful. He has been faithful. He has been faithful. Unto the Lord be the glory. Praise He has done. Unto the Lord be the glory. Unto Jesus, be the glory. things that could have happened that God did not allow to happen. 
when you are hearing stories and you look at yourself then you will know that it's not by power it's not by mind let your heart let your soul let your soul let your mouth let everything that is within you let it begin to say thank you to God Say thank you. And when I think of the goodness of Jesus, and all He has done for only me. yourself five years ago take a look at yourself three years ago and take a look at yourself now anything will have happened it is only the living that can praise the name of the Lord ah. give him praises due to his name worship him in the beauty of holiness we have given thanks Amen. everlasting king of glory we honor you we magnify you we adore you we exalt you we lift you up on high you have been so good you have been so faithful you have been so generous so reliable so dependable merciful, compassionate, loving, caring, providing, protecting, preserving. All we can say today is thank you. We are here today not because we are strong, not because we are smart, not because of anything else, 
just because of your mercy. Just because of your grace. It's your grace that has seen us through. Because not everyone that we started the year with, not everyone is alive today. Not everyone, Father Lord, is able to move around today. But for us, you have kept us. You have fought our battles for us. All those challenges you have made us to overcome. We just say thank you. Lord God Almighty, we say thank you. All your children, they have danced before you. They have celebrated. They have thanked you for what you have done. And they are thanking you in advance for what you will do. Lord God Almighty, because of their praises, every blessing, every miracle that is still hanging, let there be a release. Let there be a release. Let there be a release. In the name of Jesus. The testimonies that are due you even this year, there shall be no delay. They will not tarry until 2024. Speedily they shall be released. Every spirit of delay, every hindering spirit, I rebuke in the name of Jesus. From now on, you will have testimonies. Doors will open unto you. Favor will locate you. Before you knock, the door will open. Everywhere that you have applied, they will come looking for you. All those that have rejected you, they will begin to celebrate you. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will finish this year well. You will finish this year celebrating. You will finish this year rejoicing. And 2024 will be your best year thus far. In the mighty name of Jesus. All those who have said you will not make it. They will watch. You will make it. You will make it. You will make it. In the name of Jesus. Every power that says let us see how you will rise. They will be your stepping stone to your rising in the name of Jesus. Peace will be your portion. Prosperity will be your portion. Joy unspeakable will be your portion. In the name of Jesus. For the rest of this year and even beyond, you will celebrate. You will give thanks. You shall not receive any evil tidings. There shall be no evil occurrence in the mighty name of Jesus. You have celebrated before God today. For the rest of your life, you will celebrate. For the rest of your life, you will give thanks in the name of Jesus. I commit you into his mighty hands. He will preserve you. He will keep you. He will guide you. No confusion. No error. You will take the right decisions at the right time in the name of Jesus. You are blessed. Your family is blessed. The work of your hands is blessed. Your ministry is blessed. Your future is blessed in the name of Jesus. And at the end of our race here on earth, all of us together, we will make it to heaven. We will reign with him in glory. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be. So shall it be. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Shout aloud hallelujah. Oh, somebody's hands. We are here of the Father. We are joined here with the Son. We are children of His kingdom. We are family. We are 
Now may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, let's say together, the love of God and fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen.